<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Matima, Mrs. G. If you don't know me now, you do. Welcome. This is a place where we sing, dance, love, live, and learn. And today we're just going to have some fun um, getting to know me a bit more. Remember, I did a get to know me video with um, Instagram questions. So now I was like, my YouTube people ask away and y'all went deep. Ooh. But let's get straight into the questions. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Remember, all you have to do to enjoy more of this is to click the subscribe button. Subscribe. I noticed that if you say every time um, you say subscribe, that little subscribe thing at the bottom changes color. No, serious. Look, subscribe. Did you see? Promise. Or you have not subscribed. That's why it's doing that thing. So subscribe. Thank you. Let's get these questions out of the way. I can see the first question here is from Lebohang. Lebohang Sishangu. And she's asking, Federer, when are you releasing? It's so fun. I was having a conversation with um, some um, record label owners today. And they were saying to me, you know, it's not every artist that is actually a recording artist. And I think, nah. I think I'm just a good live um, live performer. <laughs> or King, am I just giving excuses? <laughs> Sounds like I'm just giving excuses. So to answer this question, I don't know. I don't know when. I don't know. I don't know. Um, user PJ Yam says, Wari, you don't eat butternut. Yes. <laughs> I don't eat butternut. And the funny thing is, I don't know what it tastes like. So the other day we bought a, um, a salad. It was terrible. And it had butternut. But I tasted it. I'm like, what am I eating? I don't know. I don't, I don't like it. Ugh. I don't like it. Um, Tato, what are the things you love about the Sen Twins as individuals? Aibo! As individuals. Are those people are the same, hey? They are the same. Um, oh, Batswana, hey? Batswana, they, they, they're good mothers. They're good wives. They're good this. Batswana. I don't think there's anything individual i'm not there that's one oh no look like seriously that's one they both stop on uh -uh, that's one no that's one so i can love them individual i love them together they come as a package <laughs> when are you releasing a full album yo lisha guy loy streamer loy reka will you really support Maybe I have those fears as well. Because, you know, these things. I think, honestly, God has not laid it in my heart. Maybe he has. I don't get like that. Don't Maybe he hasn't even laid it in my heart. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Um, Hazel, what is the most memorable interaction you've had with a fan? Wow. And how do these interactions with fans inspire and motivate you in your career? Nkuna is not here to play you. Yo, I have a lot of, of, of these um, um, interactions and, and they are always memorable. Um, hmm. Sure, it's a lot. It's really a lot. It's a lot. Like every time I meet a fan for the first time and, you know, they just tell me how much my music, even the channel has inspired them. Like one time, this is recent. That is, that, that's why I remember. I'm not saying it's the most. Ne? It's just recent. I was at the gym with my husband. This lady comes up to us. She's like, no, she doesn't come up to us. She passes us and then she speaks to some guy and she turns. Monica, my fucking peripheral, right? So I'm not really looking at it, but I can see she comes and she goes back and she's like, you know what? Let me just do it. Hi. I'm sorry. Is it Mr. and Mrs. G? And we're like, yes. And I love you guys so much. And it was, just, it was funny. I think she's just dramatic as well. If you're watching this, hi. What was her name? Yaya. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. her name rhymes close with uh, my daughter's name. I think it's Niana or something like that. But yeah, hi. It was nice to meet you. You're so funny. Oh, she was so sweet, man. Um, but yeah, it's always like that when I meet um, a fan for the first time. And you know, the funny thing is I'm always interacting with people on my phone. I also find those very nice. Um, how do they inspire me? They inspire me to keep going. Because sometimes when you, sometimes when you do something, just that little tap on the shoulder to say you're doing well, um, you know it, it makes a difference it it, it makes a difference it, it inspires you to to keep going and to keep moving and to do better as well um, but no one they start thinking anyway <laughs> love my fans 
all of them. I actually never thought I had friends. I still don't think I do have friends, do I though? I don't think I have friends. I think I just have people that just love me and do I have friends? Do I have friends? Please comment below if you are my fan <laughs> so I can holler at you. What is the most challenging part about being an artist? Results. I am very results driven. I'm a result driven person. Like when I wake out, I want to see results in a month and then or else give a discouraged. Like yesterday, my friend and I were so bloated. I was like, I'm I'm stopping this whole thing. <laughs> um, so I think for me it's it's results, results of what I do. So like, like if I if I release a video, I need to see its its fruits, you know. Um, that's the most challenging part for me because I love performing. That's excellent, it's in the blood. Yeah, I think it's it's yeah, the results or the fruits. What inspires you to create impactful music and messages that resonate with your audience? Well, thank you for, first of all, saying my music is impactful. That's nice. I think, first of all, it's the word of God. Um, and two, half the time I'm seeing about things that I've been through and I've seen God come through for me in, and then I'm just um, testifying in song, honestly. Um, how do you navigate the balance between staying true to your artistic vision and meeting the expectation of your audience? Mm, I have been tempted once. So there's this thing, man, on Instagram, it always pisses me off. This thing, out, you know, your timeline must have a what, what. Or when I started YouTube, you know, a thumbnail must... Hey, now those things used to irritate me. They still do, yo. Um, so it was hard for me to navigate, especially when I'm new in a space, then I give tempted to want to fit in and I hate that. I hate that. So how do you navigate that? Um, I'm honestly still working on it. It still comes and I'm, yeah, I'm still working on it. Um, has, has there been times, <laughs> has, has there been times when you felt conflicted between the two and how did you resolve it? I think I just answered that. Yeah. Okay. And who's your biggest inspiration? Kind of inspiration with how inspiring. Inspire to do what? There's inspirations in aspects of life. Eh? <laughs> like my kids inspire me <laughs> to live my life. <laughs> yo, can I look at one and be like, yo. <laughs> Last one, am I tiring you? Yes, you are. <laughs> you are. <laughs> you are. <sighs> Who's my biggest inspiration? I don't think I have. I don't think I have. And I say it with love, like honestly. Um, yeah, I don't think. No, nah, I don't. I don't think. Like I can't name drop, but uh, yeah. But I get inspired a lot, you know, by people that do well. And I'm lying. Hey, mama. <laughs> hey, mama. Um, this is Una Lena. Hey, mama. Happy to hear you're well. Um, I enjoyed this. Oh, okay. So I will look at the video. You said it could be personal. Oh, it's a way about a question. All right. Let me read it. Um, it says, you previously mentioned that you and your husband ultimately decided to be celibate before getting married. Do you mind ex explaining, expounding? What the does expounding mean? Um, on your waiting season and how it was for you. Um, BTW is by the way. Okay. Um sure. That thing is hard. Let me, let me and here's what makes it hard. It makes it hard when you already know what needs to be done. And that's why I always tell people if you have never done it, don't do it. And if you've done it, just ask the Lord to keep it closed or keep it hanging. I don't know for the guys, but I, uh, because it's really hard. It's really hard, but it's fulfilling because you know why you're doing it. Like I said in my Meet My Husband video, we explained that before I moved to Idols, we were dating. And and when you date, you think that you should be doing these things. And I did it because I thought it would keep him to me. You know, I thought, oh, this is the only thing that can make this guy love me. And it, even that didn't work, you know. So when we came back, I told him, nah, brah, nah, <laughs> you know. Uh, but it's trusting in God, asking the Lord to always, you know, just, you know, let the Holy Spirit just give you that tap. Number two, don't get yourselves in environments that, of course, will push you to do the thing. I remember one time we were booked in um, Swaziland. We were booked in Swaziland and we asked for separate rooms. And this lady says, 
um, so they were with us throughout the day. So now later they're like, yeah, I'm not sitting in the same room. They're like, no, how about you dating? And I'm like, yeah, so? And he's like, how about you're wasting rooms? I'm like, hey, child, you've got no idea. I'm not planning to, to do this thing in Swaziland, <laughs> you know? Um, but yeah, the waiting season was not, it wasn't, it wasn't easy um, because, you know, you're attracted to this person physically and you want to touch them, you want to you do stuff with them. But um, because you know why you're waiting, um, we are doing these things to please God and not ourselves. And if you get that thing in your mind that I'm doing this for God, I'm doing this for myself, and I know how rewarding it's going to be, it gets easier. But of course, <sighs> things happen. Anyway, Awa, I'm not going to again. Awa, I can not any advice for some of us who are not yet in relationships? Stay out of relationships. <laughs> no, serious. Stay single. We don't go to relationships. What is it that you advise us on? Yeah, don't go. <laughs> don't go. Um, NGL, I feel sometimes. Can I NGL? Not gonna lie. Yeah. Just say I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh. And I told I just complained about this writing I wanted to like I'll get her. Not gonna lie. I sometimes feel like we're being excluded. I feel most of the times you advise about marriage. Um I'm not complaining though, but number one, don't do it. Don't do it. On a serious note, man, I think um is it the Bible or is it something I heard somewhere? Um, that marriage is a gift and a gift just like ministry, singing, whatever. Some people are not going to get those gifts. And God fulfills you so much that it doesn't become a, a craving, for lack of a better word. It doesn't become something you desire, right? There are people who are not called to be physical mothers. And God just fulfills that thing, like that void in you. And and people ask you, Fela, like, how do you You're like, no, man. Like, Okay, I'll keep you busy, man. I'll travel out the world. To all my yana, all our ministry. Oh, hmm, bro, riso. I get rid of that I'm just saying, like, you know, she's, you know, enjoying. Yeah, but yeah, honestly, for me, um, don't go looking for it. If it comes, uh, pray about it. Is this for me? Is it, you know, is it just one of those? Um, but personally, like, I I told my husband if if I could turn back the hands of time, I'd get married a virgin. Because Maujola, Kiafana, you're going to want to do these things. And they're not good. They're not good for you. Sex before marriage is not good for you. Don't do it. Don't listen to these people um, wanting to make these things fashionable. They're not. Don't do it. Listen to me that did it. Don't do it. There's nothing to it. Please. Um, but yeah, enjoy your singlehood. And I'm a now. Wow, I'm going to talk about singlehood. This is singlehood. I can Hello, you are in my oh, you know in my mind you are perfect. You what? You know in my mind this is Elizabeth. Um, she says, Hello, you know in my mind you are a perfect human. I need to pray for your mind. I need to pray for your mind, Elizabeth. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> May you share at least one ah there's that question. May you share at least one moment which you perhaps regret doing something that's against your principles. Hmm. There's that question. So guys, I saw this question um, when I was obviously re responding to the other um comments, and I I found this very interesting. And it's not the in my mind you're perfect. Not this other part. Yeah, can you share a moment of um, what does it say of regret of um. A moment of regret doing something that's against your principles. Number one, um, I want to just fix that first line in my mind. You're perfect. Take that out. <laughs> like, really, thank you, but take that out. And that's because one, no one is perfect. Um, the Bible says we are sinners saved by grace. No one is perfect. We are literally imperfect people just trying to perfect ourselves for the glory of God. We're just trying to, we're all just trying to please God. We're just trying our best to to impress him, you know, um, the word is always there to guide. The word is always there to, the Holy Spirit is always there to rebuke and things like that. So delete, 
having a, a picture of people because should something happen that I know you put them on this pedestal, should something happen, then you kind of like automatically lose that thing. You're like, oh, let's say maybe people that admire my marriage, for instance, um, it's not going to happen. But let's say for some reason we divorce. Now you're going to start not believing in marriage itself because the people that you had, you know, put on this pedestal of perfection of, you know, what marriage is failed in marriage. And therefore you lose the whole faith in the marriage because you had put marriage with the gavus in one thing. You understand? So you have to lose it because that thing will make you, first of all, it will discourage you. It will demotivate you and things like that. Number two, the Bible says, um, um, Jesus said, the trouble, I'll, I'll get the scripture, but the trouble you face, in other words, trouble is inevitable. Like going through stuff is inevitable. So you don't have to, you can't sit there and think that people don't go through stuff or people don't fall into sin or people don't, um, you know, things like that. They do. And I think once you get that, you know, in your head, then you, 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 you understand that what I go through and what the next person goes through, they probably go through the same thing or even worse because, you know, the Lord trusts us with different assignments. You know, you find that they're going through even worse and you're just sitting here going, oh, this person is just perfect in my eye. And, 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 and. so to answer the second question, there's a lot of principle. There's a, lot. <laughs> uh, there's a lot. And that's because I am a human being, you know, there's a lot. I mean, today I lied to get myself out of trouble. <laughs> And I was like, I was like, God forgive me for I'm about to lie because I wanted to get myself out of trouble. But the point is, if I tell you, you don't. I, I'm not sure if you're asking this because you wanna, you wanna, you wanna say, okay, whew, thank God she's not perfect because you're not perfect. You're perfect in my eyes. So if I tell you, you're gonna be like, oh, thank God because I thought you're perfect. No, I'm not. I'm not. But I'm not gonna say anything. Um, the Bible says, don't do anything in front of a Christian. That will, yeah, I'll get the scripture too. But I don't wanna say anything that will. Then it will make people, oh, you do that too? Or you've done that too? No. Um, you know, we, the point is, the biggest point is we all make mistakes. And, and, and the Lord is so merciful and gracious to us. But we don't deliberately fall into sin. You know, I'm not saying you should deliberately fall into sin. But I'm saying, should you get, the Bible says, um, what does it say, that prayer like about temptation? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Uh, thy kingdom, thy, thy will be done on thy kingdom. Give us our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. Lead us not into... The, oh, did I have to go through this? Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. It's there because the Lord knows that you will be tempted. Oh, I took forever to answer that question. But the point I was trying to make is it, I just wanted to um, for her to just get that thing. First of all, Matema is not perfect. Nobody is. Okay? nobody is let's start there um and two maybe avoid putting people in that pedestal because then you have a like a delusion about them not a delusion a an idea about them and then when they don't meet it and then oh, it makes some it, it discourages you but also number three just know that yes people do make mistakes and god is so merciful that he covers us so beautifully like we don't look like our problems or our sins you know we don't look like she looks like she lied she, she looks like she had sex before me we don't look like that because the, the god renews us his mercies are new every single morning it's people that hold us against these um, these things but god doesn't okay why did you switch to android <laughs> oh what i love this question oh did i not notice that too kiss i'm sad and it's an S20 something ultra no <laughs> Is that a good or a bad thing? I thought it's an S20 something ultra no Nohan is really bad. Yeah, no is like, like of all things you went for. Um, why did I switch to an Android? Um so my husband, so I I like I like that. So one of my one of the phones that I used in the past was a Motorola. You remember that Motorola? I think it was, it was, it was called a Z3. Motorola, the flip. And I love that phone. So when I saw that Samsung came up with that phone, I was like, I'm going to get the phone. It's a small phone that fits in your pocket and things like that. And then I got there and the sales guy discouraged me. So like, um, he's like, 
um, what do you, you want to use the phone for? I'm like, I don't know, camera and stuff. It's like, no, then get this one. It's the latest, what, what. And then I got home and I opened the camera and it was trash. And, it's, and I'm sorry, because <laughs> I'm sorry, should Android one day want to work with me? I'm sorry, but okay, maybe it's not trash. Maybe show me how to fix it because right now it's, it's trash. I love you, mommy. Are you still close with the twins, Ino and Neely? Yes, I am. Oh, so sweet. Louise, I think, or is it Louis? Yeah. Um, you look gorgeous, mama. Thank you. I love me some Mrs. G. Stay blessed, mama, with the entire family. I don't think this is a question. Oh, okay. And when she said, be personal, one of my realists on the app. Oh, thank you. Um, okay. There's not a question. It's just love, love. Continue being an inspiration. I love you. Thank you so much. Um, Tapelo, why do you want, why you always want the videos to be less than 20 minutes? Okay. It's so funny that when I see a video, ne? no TV, iri, I get in my local corner, iri 56, I'm like, I'm not going to watch this. And then I play it, and then I'm like, ooh, that was 50 minutes. But personally, I don't like long videos. So I don't think I would give what I don't like. Um, so let's comment below. Let's open a poll. Do you guys want longer videos or are you good with my less than? Because I feel like even in the science, a, a, a person's mind, yes, can only concentrate for 20 minutes. So I feel like 20 minutes is fine. Come on, Chadi Piri. Okay. I love you so much. Thank you. Um, who do you confide in spiritually? Ooh, that's a good question. Nobody has ever asked me that. Um, Actually, I don't know. I don't have anyone. Come to think of it. Oh, my sister. Mm. Oh, yes. Yes, my sister. My sister, yeah. yeah it has to be my sister. Uh, marriage. Marriage. No one, actually. Come to think of it. Because I, I pray, hey? I think I pray because... I feel like my marriage is designed funny. I feel like people wouldn't get me. By the way, I, I've tried therapy. I went to therapy once and I went, I came out, I was like, I just wasted 800 bucks. <laughs> so I don't think, I don't think we are for that. I think we, we have a way of fixing things here. Um, no, I don't, in marriage, nobody, it has to, unless it's the Holy Spirit, it's prayer and it's my husband. <laughs> um, Please share the names of the books you were reading. I could not see them clearly. Oh. So the first one is by Baike Dlamini. The, yeah, the, the 20 Irrefutable Laws of Marriage is by Baike and Nokwanda Dlamini. And the other one about success is also by Baike Dlamini. And then the other one, Get Out of Your Head. I think it's the green one. Um, yeah, this one without a cover. Okay, that one, An Imperfect Woman, amazing book, is by Kim Highland. By the way, I don't know these people. Don't think I'm quoting them like I know them, like I've read their books before. Oh, yes. And then the wheelchair is Apostle Kuli Lem Tsetra. Because I said Apostle calls to someone. It's uh, Kuli Lem Tsetra. And then that green one, shirt, that looks like a diary. I can't know. It's Get Out of Your Head. It's by Jeannie Allen. Yeah, that's it. They are all good books, man. I've I've always wanted to be a reading girl and then so I finally am. Christian said, I thought they were short. I did fail. Um, how do you deal with insecurities? Yo. And number two questions. Oh, three three questions, friends that always undermine people. Get rid of them. Mm-mm. Ilin <laughs> Uh, but yeah, honestly, guys, if it, it's 2024, we have to, the Bible says in the book of, um, I, I forgot that scripture that my sister quoted, but when she quoted in the message version, it said, stop being children in the things of the Lord. So let now we must stop being children in the things of relationships and just want to know if things are not serving, you move. If things are not fulfilling, you move. It's okay. I mean, I got cut off this year and I'm doing just <laughs> fine i'm doing just fine but last time i spoke about friendships on this channel i got in trouble so i'm not talking about friends on my channel um how do you deal with insecurities Oof. sure mm -mm -mm. I realize that insecurities just like pastor colin said some things are in the mind you think 
you really think they are physical, but because you can, I mean, you can't touch insecurity. It's in your mind. So I feel like you can get yourself out of it by building more of your, what is the opposite of insecurity? Confidence. I honestly feel that. So you have to, you have to build a lot of your confidence. The thing is, half the time, it's not that you, you are not beautiful. You think you're not beautiful because there's a comparison or there's a picture of what is deemed beautiful that you're comparing yourself to. Let's say we lived in a world with no mirrors and we lived in a world with no, like anything reflecting, like we, we didn't know what the other person looks like unless you see them. You see what I'm saying? Like you don't, I don't know what, basically like I, I only see what Mashadi sees because I can't tell the next person, I don't know how to explain, but it's making sense in my head. The point I'm making is, if we didn't have all of these things that could, um, that sort of like showed us these comparisons, we wouldn't know that we're not pretty enough or we're not good enough. It's because there's a pedestal. Like, um, let's talk, let's, let's give, for example, people that are ministers that preach the word. Almost everyone wants to be Sarah Jakes, let's say, right? But you know that there's some people that just want to captivate people in the villages. Like there's some people that just want to, I just want to win souls. And you can't get sold the villages got Wi-Fi. They don't have it. You have to go in there. And for some person, that is it. And then when are you going to make them feel insecure because there's a standard that, they ha that has been put. Uguti, this is the, if, if you don't make it to um, Sarah Jakes, then you're not, you understand? And then maybe for me, I just want to, you know, capitalize on this market. Um, but because of what the world says, because of what the world deems as, then you start to think, Ah, maybe let me just leave this one and aim for that. But if there was that pedestal was not there, we all would have just been doing our own things. So I think that's how you build up yourself away from confidences. You stop the comparison. You um, accept and love yourself and the things you do for what they are and for who you are. All right. I hope my question is not late. No, it's not. This was five days ago. And when last did I post a video? By the way, comment below. How many times? I, I don't know if I if I ask you guys. I, look, answers are unrealistic. I go twice a week. <laughs> never mind. Never mind on the posting. Um, my question is: Are you having a nine to five to um, a nine to five work? Um, if not, ooh, how then do you survive financially? Hi, Moela. Um, Pamela. Ha, ah, Pamela. We don't have a nine to five. But come on, there. Uh, one gig they're set for life <laughs> uh, but yes i i do a whole lot of things and god is just taking care of me in all ways so no i don't i don't have a nine to five um oh i think these are the two last because i i refreshed and there was nothing um how come you don't show your kids faces anymore i do show them i'm just limiting them off social media um do you do you and your husband drink alcohol no we don't that's it. Okay, that's it. How long is that video? 50 minutes. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video. And no more get to know me. I think you know me now, right? <laughs> I think you know me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Do subscribe, like the video and um, share and comment below um, your thoughts. And what about what now? Okay, just comment and say thanks for doing this video. I love you. Bye. <laughs>